Hey everybody, it's Colleen Coles. How are you today? I want to share a really cool um, idea with you and it goes off of what I talked about in my last video, which you can find on my Facebook page, Colleen Coles, about Zone of Genius. And we talk about Zone of Genius as the space where you're doing what you love with what you're good at and you're combining those two things to do it in a way that truly lights you up. That's your zone of genius. And I want to talk about today two main ways that this concept, like you doing what you're truly meant to do, you being in that zone of genius, again, doing what you would love to do, what you're good at, and how you would think it's awesome, that it's a lot more important than just you like feeling good or, you know, reading a self-help book, or um, even just like thinking this is a luxury or that would be nice. And I want to take it back to just even my own experience as a millennial who had been in a career that I thought would light me up, but then transitioned to something that was so much better. And it just took the courage to do what I really wanted to and do it in a way that I wasn't beating myself up for. I wasn't putting myself as like the sacrificial lamb, if you will, um, to the profession, but that I was willing to like stand up and, and then the universe kind of supplied me with a new type of career that I didn't even know existed, but yet totally fills me up, is more fulfilling than anything I could have imagined. Um, and so when I was a teacher in elementary ed, uh, it was something I studied for, it was something I was really good at, and yet it just wasn't lighting me up. And I remember um, when I was just really starting out, but starting to see that it, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, um, I got a book recommendation, and this book recommendation, so that you have it, it's called The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, and it's a fantastic book. I got it from a friend who knew, like, a coach, and um, I didn't even know what a coach was, but I read this book, and it was so fantastic, and it introduced me to this concept of zone of genius, which is where you're lighting up the world with doing what you love and are passionate about and already have the gifts to do. So if you think about like Steve Jobs, if you think about Oprah, and even in a smaller way, like people who are great at sports and they're excelling, like they're in their zone of genius and you can tell because they're happy with their lives and what they're doing in the world. And also they're generally really good at that. And I think the reason that those specific people get to the top is because they have chosen to like really go for what they love and do it in a way that makes them happy um you know and i and and not everybody does that which to me it's like there's so much room for everyone because you have such a unique gift combined with such unique desires to create something that nobody else has done and so when everybody can get in their own zone of genius we really start lifting up the consciousness of the planet. We really start becoming who we're meant to be and then who we can um, be to help the planet in the best way through our gifts and through our happiness. Okay, now here's a cool thing to think about. Um, there is um, kinesthetic physiology tools, testing tools that can actually look at our energy frequency and actually see on a scale if it's lower frequency or higher. So low frequency would be like shame, guilt, and they can actually see it as a frequency of around like 100 out of a 1000 scale. And then on the very highest frequency of your energy, like literally being seen on a tool is enlightenment and gratitude and all of those are super high up there with like 1,000 and 900 and 800 ratings. And what's so cool is that when we get to around that 500 level, which is the love level, we're able to actually transform exponentially amounts of other people's energy around us. Okay, so like there, so for example, if you turn up your energy and become more happy to say from like an apathy level, which might be rating at around 250, to a 500 level, which is love 
or say even higher at 700 of gratitude, all of a sudden you are radiating so much that you can take somebody, well, even 10 people who are registering more at like guilt, shame, lower frequencies, and actually help them raise up just from your own happiness level, just from your own vibration out into the world. Okay, so I want to share two super important ways of how important it is for you to get into that zone of genius and how you're actually maybe taking away from when you're not. Okay, the first way is that, and I want to just like have you envision a coworker of yours that you've maybe worked with before who just was kind of a drab to be around. And it was somebody, and, and I hate to even like focus on this, but just go with me in this direction for a minute, where when, you know, we are working and maybe we're, it's like a new job, we're excited to be there, and you're like going into work, but then there's like a person you start to meet, and they're like, oh yeah, like, I just can't even stand this anymore, did you hear what Rob did in the office? God, like, I can't believe it, and you're like, ah, okay, but then like day two, day three, day four, and the same person just complains. Right. And they're just like, ah, uh, like it's kind of bringing down the entire energy of your work environment. Right. Just from their attitude. And so when we even become ourselves, that person in our work or we're noticing other people around us, we can know that we are not in our zone of genius because we're not happy. <laughs> Neither of us is that person. But why this is so important is because the first way is because their energy is literally, like literally taking away from other people's energy. Okay, so it's as if everybody was light bulbs and we can all turn up to 100% frequency like poof, and then there's like zero, which is off, okay? When a person, just like a happiness lever can raise people up, Obviously negative can raise down, luckily it's not as strong, but when we turn those knobs and like turn it down, down, down with complaining and complaining and complaining because they're not in their, their zone of genius, they're not doing what they really want to do, it then brings down the energy of everybody else. And, and when we have the potential to turn up so much, like turn up our own energy, turn up other people's energy, it, it is like a ricochet effect. So if you're a person that says, um, hold on, my computer needs to charge. One second. I don't have my charger. Okay. Computer, you're going to have to calm down. Ugh, it's so distracting. Okay. Back in the zone. Ready? So if you're the type of person who wants to help other people and you say, you know, I just want to make a difference. I just want to really want to help people and I don't even know how. The first thing, way that you can is just by being happy yourself because it's actually tested scientifically that you can change other people's energy when you turn up your own energy. Like you're literally helping other people, such as even right now. I'm super excited to talk about this. And maybe if you're watching right now, you're feeling your energy lifting because my energy of enthusiasm <laughs> and freaking out, just kidding, is probably a lot stronger than maybe you were. But it's attractive to you because you want to feel that good too. We all do. And so when you then can get yourself into a state just like this, being in your own zone of genius, that's when you can really help the planet in the easiest way possible. What do you have to do? Just show up. Okay, so that's number one reason of how important it is to get in your zone of genius and how much you can actually change other people's lives just by doing what you really want to do and what you're really, really meant for. Okay, so that's like really exciting. The other big thing is how much we kind of take away from the world when we're not in our zone of genius. Okay, so think about somebody who you really love. You love what they do in the world. You're so enamored by them. You're so respectful of their work. And just think about if they were in an office job just because they had to pay the bills or they were doing something just because they graduated from college and, you know, wanted to stay on track with that, but they weren't really happy. Can you imagine, like, how they're taking away their gifts, okay? Emma Stone is somebody who I went to high school with. It was pretty cool. She, she grew up in Phoenix, Arizona, just like me. Um, she was at my high school for a year before she moved to L.A., and what was so cool to watch was how much she was in love with acting. 
obviously. And um, she was damn fucking good at it, right? Um, but what was so cool was that it's like, this is a perfect example. She loved acting, she had a passion for it, and obviously she was good at it. So now she's in her zone of genius. If she's not following that path, she's literally taking away her gifts from the planet. And so it's like, where would we be? Like, you have something so unique to give, and so do I. And so when we can just freaking have the courage to find out what we're good at and find out what we love and really just go for it and be brave to do what we really want to do, we're giving our gifts in our life. And if you really want to help other people, if you really want to make a difference, like I know you do, and I know I do too, like we got to raise up now and just give our gifts and have the courage to find what that is. And if you already know deep down, it's about time to like get whatever's in the way out of the way. So in these two really crucial ways, we can help the planet or hurt it by what we're doing or not doing. And that's why what, what this is about is so much more than just feeling good or like, you know, self-help, self-love. Like it's a lot stronger because we can help lift the consciousness or the, um, just the whole vibe. <laughs> and we need it. You know we need it. Like of the whole planet. But the best way to do it is to give of our gifts because that's what like you came in here for. And if when you find what that meant to is and your thing, then like you're combining your greatest gifts with what you love. So it's like you got the rocket, then you got the fuel, and then you lift off to take off and help the world in some way that other people cannot do. So you can help the world just by doing what you love. And when you decide to do that, you go into that new office space, you go into that new place of profession, and you help them through your gifts, and then also from your enthusiasm, from your joy, and like, we already know that can literally change the frequency and the energy of the higher place you're in. So I get so excited because it's like, I'm also a passionate person who wants to help. And sometimes it can feel so stuck and like so disheartening and hopeless when we see crappy news and we see stuff like, you know, people are dying and, and there's crazy. Like this is a really important time to get clear on what you really want and how you can really help because people need you now. And, and like, when we get clear on that happiness from within, we can give from our overflow. Like, how fun is that? And I can say, too, like, right now I work part-time at a coffee shop just as my business is, my baby business is growing. And it's just so fun and funny to come in there because I usually, I usually run off of, like, six hours of sleep. I don't drink coffee right off the bat, and I just go in there, like, totally filled with love and totally overjoyed to be there because... I know what I already got going and it's right here being with you. So it's like when I'm even in my zone of genius and then go out into a different realm, I can still bring my joy and my light, which I know already is helping other people. You know, this is science. So it's just so fun to be able to say like, you know, have people say you're the happiest person I know, or like, you're so enthusiastic. How do you do that? This is how I do it. And it's so, it's such an honor, like to even be able to share this because I got this like secret in my head and I want you to have it too. And it's, it's something that you can do too. And if you need help even creating that spot, that sweet spot, your own thing, like what you're good at and what you love, I'm here for you too. And so we can get on like a free consult, a clarity call is what I offer people just so that you have a game plan and step-by-step -step action plan to Find your zone of genius. That's what I love to do for people. So if that's even something you think, I would love to do that. I would love to be enthusiastic. I'd love to be getting out of bed with joy, you know, not wanting to take naps all day or something like that, then call me up. Like, hit me up. You can find me at ColleenColes.com or just PM me on Facebook, Colleen Coles. And I'm happy to set up just a free one-on-one -on -one consultation where we can see what your strengths are and what's in the way of you really getting into your zone of genius. And then, you know, like just having that support can be so life-changing. So I wish you the best weekend of all time. And um, yeah, have a great week. Live out that dream. You're meant to. All right, namaste. Thank you so much for watching.